I'm Emily Reese, and I would suppose my title is host and editor of a podcast named Level with Emily Reese. When I was in graduate school, I went to grad school in Lincoln, Nebraska for music theory. And while I was knowing I was going to be there over the summer, I was kind of keeping my eye out for summer jobs. And at the music school, they had a posting up on one of the bulletin boards that said, if you have ever wanted to be on the radio and you know something about classical music, let us know. And it was the public radio network for the state of Nebraska, which is called NET Radio. But, um, and I applied, I was, I'd always wanted to be on the radio. I thought it'd be really fun. And so that's how I got into radio initially. And when I finally moved to the Twin Cities to try and get a job at Minnesota Public Radio, I was nervous doing any kind of music broadcasting, any kind of DJing like that, because I didn't, I hadn't really learned how to do that very well. And that's where I had the opportunity to start a podcast there called Top Score about video game music. And now here I am 10, 10 plus years after starting in radio, that was in 2005. Um, and now I'm not at NPR anymore, but uh, still with the same person who I started the show with at NPR. And now we're doing Level with Emily Reese. My name is Sam Keenan, and I am the producer and co-creator of Level with Emily Reese. I have a background mostly in radio when it comes to production. I, I worked for Minnesota Public Radio for almost 15 years, and I worked there as a recording engineer and a mixing engineer. Um, and I did all sorts of fun stuff there, recording uh, everything from orchestras to big political events to rock bands and things like that. And besides that professional side, I've been making music and recording bands and, and uh, performing and everything for my whole life. Sam and I met at NPR. He was one of the engineers there. It's one of those uh, faded meetings that people have on the smoker's balcony. Don't tell my mom. But uh, yeah, we got we got to know each other kind of hanging out on, on, the, on the patio at, at NPR and we didn't work together at all really. She was an on-air person for the most part and I was uh, recording, but we just became casual friends that way and um, once opportunities came for us to work together that just was a fun bonus. One of my jobs at NPR was to help out over at Orchestra Hall with interviews ahead of live broadcasts. So I would go over there a lot and I knew some of the people there. And it turned out that Video Games Live was coming to town and so I emailed Orchestra Hall and I asked if I could get an interview with Tommy Tallarico and they set all that up for me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage video game composer and co-creator of Video Games Live, Tommy Tallarico. And so I wrote an article just for the Classical NPR webpage and posted that article and at the time it was the most popular article that had ever been on the Classical NPR website. <laughs> and so then they're like, oh, hmm, people must be interested in, class in you know, video game music. And so that's what kind of started the conversation with Sam and I, because we were friends already. And he's, he's like, you got to do a podcast. And I was like, well, you got to work on it with me because he's such a good engineer. It's not even, he's so good at mixing. It's ridiculous. She had an idea to start um, talking to composers for video games. What she was going to do is, is uh, just simply get interviews and you know post them on the NPR website and stuff. And I just suggested that I suggested to her that we try and develop it into a cohesive show of some kind. And so we just tried it. We just tried it, and, and uh, you know that kind of uh, gave birth to the way that we put the show together. Welcome to Level with Emily Reese. This is music by Enon Zur for Eagle Flight. When I decided to leave Minnesota Public Radio, Sam had already left um, a, a little more than a year before I left. And I left because I wanted to make this podcast and have more control over it and 
get to, you know, have the guests on that I want and, and things like that. Not be so focused on the classical side, even though that's, you know, clearly a passion of mine. But there's way more to video game music than just the orchestral scores. And when we left, there was some concern over ownership of the idea. And so that's why we started June Media, because now, rather than me personally owning the show, June Media owns the show. June is just what we decided to call uh, the production that is us, so far us and whoever we sometimes work with. but. Uh... The goal for June was is to, to be putting out more than just um, the level show. Uh, so, yeah, we just wanted a we wanted some sort of company name to go under, and uh, so she named it after her cat. <laughs> if you like our show, would you rate us on iTunes, or perhaps you'd like to become a patron? Learn how at Patreon.com/level. Patreon came into the picture right right at the beginning. Uh, early in my exploration, there were questions like, how would I, how would I raise any money? <laughs> how do you get paid to create content? And Patreon changed that for a lot of people. And there are other sites that have followed, and I, and I think, honestly, there are probably some other sites who might handle it a little, a little better. Patreon definitely has rough spots, but it's also a great place for us to be able to just put whatever we want up there and contact everyone that we know who is actually interested in what we're doing. The tricky thing with Patreon is figuring out what to give people. You know, we, we believe that everyone should have access to the show and the whole show. And so that doesn't cost anybody anything. You know, you don't even have to be on Patreon to get the show. The relationship between me and the people funding me is really gratifying. The people who are choosing to donate even a dollar a month, it's, it's, it takes effort in this day and age, as we all know, to just want to give our money to anything. And it's, it's really amazing. And that's one of the reasons we started doing the Patron of the Week. Our Patron of the Week is Carrie Honey. Carrie is a game journalist reviewer extraordinaire over at PS Lifestyle, and she's an avid soundtrack fan and friend. We talk about her favorite tune from Katamari Damacy, and we start off talking about Kingdom Hearts. And that is a su subscription level at $5 a month because that gives me the opportunity to talk to that person individually and first of all, interview them about some of their v favorite video game music, which is always super fun. I'm doing some of that later today. And also just to literally genuinely thank them for their support. And that's that's been really fun to get to speak to everyone. And I mean, I'm behind. There are patrons I'm that's stacking up, but um, we'll get to them all, you know, and, and it's just it's been really, really great to meet them. Some of them I know, of course, you know, I, friends or family or whatever, but it's it's still just fun to meet new people who believe in what you're doing. It's pretty cool. In terms of hosting and other things that I do outside of the podcast, Panels is high on the list. Um, it gives us the chance to travel. Well, the traveling that we do is, is some of the most fun that we have, and meeting with people in person um, and talking, you know, having conversations over a drink or something. It's another way for us to connect with fans and also potential guests, whether or not they're fans or composers or audio directors. Welcome. Welcome to uh, this awesome event with these amazing, amazing, amazing composers. My name is Emily Reese. Many, many a panel I have hosted. I've hosted panels, several PAXs, East and West are the two PAXs I've done. There's been a couple of PAX panels I have done that isn't you know, a line of like five or six composers. Those panels are really fun. Um, the Q&A is probably one of the more fun things when the people just flood the mics to ask, you know, Jack Wall about whatever or something, that's, that's always kind of fun. Um, I've done panels about game 
music outside of conventions. I did one for the Society of Composers and Lyricists. That was almost a year ago out in LA and that was really cool. I got to go to LA and do a panel with Jack Wall and the audio director for Treyarch, who is a, a guy named Brian Tui. And Jack Wall's wife joined us for a half a second because her name is Cindy Shapiro and she sings on Black Ops 3 because he scored that last year. And she sang on it and she also was the lyricist for all the zombie mode songs. So there's this um, collection of audio people in the video game community called the Game Audio Network Guild, GANG. And there are GANG Awards. Super long story short, in the middle of the awards ceremony, they, start, they just started telling this story that was basically my childhood. And I'm listening to them introduce the recipient of this award and realizing that it's me, which was weird. Receiving an award was really strange because everybody's like, yay, look at you. And it was, it was really, really weird, but amazing and, and really special. And it meant so much to me. And, you know, it's been things like that along the way that have helped to reinforce how important what, what we do is and why we're doing it forever, you know, why we'll just keep, keep doing it. This show is very important to me. Um, I just, you know, people, when you get to kind of, this is, I don't mean to get sentimental, but you kind of get to a certain age and you think, what am I doing on this planet, you know? And whether it's a really conscious thing that you think about or not, it's, it's kind of an always present thought. And what is very important to me and always has been important to me is helping people learn about music and gaining an appreciation or an understanding for Beethoven or Jesper Kidd or any fill in the blank. It's just fun to introduce that to people. And you know, it became clear to us when we started Top Score, when Sam and I started Top Score, that there was a huge void, that no one had really tried to do this before, to teach the world that video game music is worth listening to and hearing whether you're a gamer or not. And, uh, you know, it just kind of became an important part of who I am to continue doing this and um, just to have the ability to communicate to people with audio, you know, and be able to make these shows is, it's just fun. And, you know, that's, that's kind of what I see as me kind of leaving my mark a little bit rather than leaving it genetically. I'm leaving it, you know, aurally, I guess. <laughs>